Hi Pisces, my name is JC from The Mindful Awakening and welcome to your January Tarot Monthly Messages. I hope these messages resonate with you and if they do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be told every single time I drop a new video. Now if they don't resonate with you at this moment, please remember that time and energy are fluid so it might resonate with you closer to the end of the month and until then I also encourage you to check out your moon and rising sign videos. All right, let's go ahead and see what is in store for all of my Pisces signs. Pisces signs, sun, moon, and rising. Show us what we need to see for January. What do we need to know for January? Please make these messages clear. What do we need to know? Hmm. So far, I've done almost all of the signs, and this is the best reading I've seen so far. Not that they're, the rest of them are not good. The rest of them are great in their own way, but this, this energy makes me very happy for you. One more card, and then I'll show you exactly what's going on. One more card, please, for our Pisces signs. Let me just pick that up. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, Pisces signs! This is such a great month for you! I wish I had this for my sign! <laughs> we are starting off your month with the Ace of Freaking Cups upright. Wow, wow, wow. This is a love offer. This is showing up with your heart on your sleeve, with an open heart, ready to receive and give love. This is self-love. This is being so full of love in everything that you do that like you just can't even separate yourself from from love anymore I, I feel like you guys have gone through so much in 2021 that you're starting off this year putting your heart out there and only giving yourself away to the things that um truly make you feel happy inside like you're not going to settle for a job that you're not happy with anymore you need to love what you do. And if you don't love what you do, you're about to make some changes. Um, if you are involved in a relationship, you're not going to settle unless that person really truly makes you fall in love with the idea of love again. Um, I'm also getting here a lot of self-care practices, really um, honing in on just like what it means to really love you, how you love you, all of the quirky little things about you that maybe you've been a little bit more low key about being a Piscean, you know, it takes you a little bit longer to really like show all your cards, you know, but you're, you're coming into your own. And I'm so happy to see this. We also have the temperance card upright. We're reaching emotional stability and balance here. Also probably a balance between work and life. For some of you, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius sign, but like for the first time in a while, you guys are, you're good. You're good, like you're content. You're good. <laughs> you're good in life, you're good in love, you're good in work, you're good with your friends, you're just good. <laughs> we also have here the Knight of Cups upright could be dealing with a fellow water sign, Ari Aquarius, Libra, or sorry, why am I saying Aquarius? Maybe that's useful for someone out there. Um, what I meant to say was Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But since I said Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe some of you are dealing with an air sign as well. Um, with the Knight of Cups energy, this is like the lovey-dovey stage of a relationship that you might be in right now. Um, you know, everything is like candy, rainbows, they look good, they smell good, they're saying the right things, they're showing up in the best way possible. Uh, sometimes this can be considered like fuckboy energy, but I, I'm not getting that here at all, especially with Temperance Upright and Ace of Cups Upright. Your energy is so balanced that you could totally see through someone's F-boy tendencies if that's what this was. I'm getting, this is like romance. This is bringing chivalry back, really getting into like the lovey-dovey-ish that just like isn't really a thing in our society anymore. And you're rediscovering what being in love means to you. And I think if you are partnered up with someone at the moment, or if you're dating someone or talking to someone, you're trying to align yourself with somebody who uh, has that same view on love and relationship as well. Like you're looking for a best friend, a partner, um, someone who elicits that fiery 
side of you as well like that emotional connection is what you really need as well and having fun with spontaneous activities is great too and that's what this card is representing for me for you in january following the knight of cups we have the ace of wands upright this is all about passion this is all about taking decisive action but in the most passionate way and only for the things that light up your soul this is beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords in reverse here. So this is definitely showing to me that you are coming out of a period of uh, self-love, of replenishing your heart. I think some of you went through some tough times and you're finally ready to get back out there and uh, just get back out there and just see what the possibilities are for you. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is clarified by, wow, so we have the Devil in reverse, we also have the Magician upright, and we also have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Your defenses are totally down, which is fantastic. I think a lot of you who have been dealing with some like old bad habits, negative self-talk, self-sabotaging, um, just getting in your own way. All of these things are finally coming to an end for you. We have the Magician upright, so this is also indicating a brand new beginning. Your words are very powerful at this time, so be careful because you can manifest just through your words. Um, so careful what you say and only speak love and goodness into your life. Remember, Ace of Cups, right? You're wearing your heart on your sleeve, and I think this is fantastic. Um, Defense is down, heart wide open, no more self-sabotaging. Good for you. Let's take a look at this temperance energy. Temperance card, please. Temperance is clarified by five of pentacles in reverse. We have the ace of swords upright and we also have the three of cups in reverse. You're taking decisive action. At one point you came out of a situation that made you feel really shitty about yourself, that made you feel left out in the cold. It was really sad. It was very lonely. It made you start to question everything and it, it just was no longer a fun time. A fun time went from amazing to absolute horrible and I think you've gone through these cycles of maybe choosing the wrong people but now you know what you want and you're totally balanced in approaching these new partnerships connections and relationships so you're seeing things for what they are and you're taking decisive logical action forward in these partnerships knight of cups let's clarify the knight of cups knight of cups upright is clarified by the page of swords upright. You're learning something about this person that you are connecting with, okay? Uh, some of you might just be starting out in the dating phase, so you're getting to know someone, doing your research about them, trying to remember the things that they're sharing with you. For others of you, if this is an established partnership and you've been with each other for a while, uh, it just feels like you're learning something new about this person every day. The two of you might even be learning something new together, like maybe you met them in school, maybe you're taking a course together, maybe you're into personal development and you're both kind of feeding off of each other doing some uh, evolving uh, seven of swords in reverse you guys have a very honest relationship uh, no one is keeping anything from the other person and I really feel here with the two of swords in reverse if you were questioning whether or not you were ready for a more serious commitment I think you are starting to see that you know what this person has the potential to really make me happy and I think I'm going to give them a chance Keep learning about them and enjoy this stage. Enjoy this stage with one another. And if you've been with them for a while, it feels like you're relearning this person again. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, upright, is clarified by Nine of uh, Swords, upright. We have the King of Pentacles upright and we also have the emperor upright a lot of you right now are focused on your business money mindset ace of pentacles you're very passionate about this business but careful that your passion doesn't lead you to sleepless nights i think you need more of a balance between work and life if something isn't working out it's not the end of the world you just need to reevaluate 
Um, but if it's causing you stress, there is always an answer and a way out of this. Remember, you have the emperor energy, Aries energy here. You are the boss, big boss mentality. You get to come up with all of the rules. So if something is stressing you out, remember there is always an answer and you will figure out what this answer is. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you might be connecting with this person. If it's your energy, this is about the long-term plan. Maybe something isn't happening immediately the way you want it to and it's stressing you out, but remember, long-term plan, good things take time. So allow it to take time and don't lose the love and passion you have for this opportunity. Let's go ahead and pull some final advice for our Pisces signs. Pisces signs for January, final closing advice for Pisces signs in January. Any final advice for Pisces signs for January? We have here Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. Manifestation energy, right? We have here the Magician card. Focus on what you desire and you can make it your reality. If you're going through a challenge right now or a hardship or if something isn't happening as fast as you'd like it or you're facing some sort of adversity, it's okay. Everything will be okay. I hope these messages resonated with you and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.